Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to install MySQL 5.7 on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So let's start. So as you can see here, here I mentioned some steps that we need to follow to install MySQL 5.7. So let's start. So first of all, you can see here, here I launch one instance the operating system is Ubuntu because we are going to install on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and here we are successfully connected to our Ubuntu terminal. Right, okay. So now, so we are going to install MySQL 5.7 on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So let's start. So the first step is we need to add MySQL APT repository. So download MySQL repository by executing the following commands. So you can see the commands. So firstly, we need to update our system package. So how to update? So the command is sudo apt update. So let's update. So here is our terminal. And we are successfully connected to our terminal. And you can see here the instance welcome to Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, right? So this is our Ubuntu 22.04 LTS instance. And now we are going to update our system package. So how to update? So the command is sudo apt update. So can see how it's done almost. Okay, done. Now let's clear the screen. And after that, now the next step is we need to install this WKID because when we download our repository, we are going to download repository using WKID command. So that's why here I'm going to install WKID command, sorry, WKID using this command. So let's install. So it's done, now let's clear the screen. Now, after that, now the next step is we are going to download our repository using wget command. So let's download. So here is the command. So you can see it's done. Now if I run the firstly, I'm going to clear the screen. And now if I run the ls command, you can see uh, the repository that we download. Okay, now once download, downloaded, install the repository. So we need to install this repository that we downloaded. So let's install using this command. Okay, now you can see in prompt the page. Okay. Now in prompt, choose Ubuntu, Bionic, and then click on OK. OK, you can see here. After that, the next prompt shows MySQL 8.0 chosen by default because when we install our MySQL, they choose by default 8.0 version, right? But we are going to install 5.7 version. Then choose this by default. So choose the first option, then click on OK. OK, let's do it. So here I'm going to choose this Ubuntu Bionic, uh, Bionic, then hit enter. After that here, you can see which MySQL product do you wish to configure. MySQL server and cluster and currently selected MySQL 8.0, it's by default, right? So let's enter. After that here, which server version do you wish to receive? So here we need to choose our server. So our server version will be mysql 5.7 right so select mysql 5.7 and hit enter after that which mysql pro do you wish to configure so it's done you can see a mysql uh, server cluster and in bracket currently selected mysql 5.7 right that we choose okay now select okay and hit enter it's done okay so now clear the screen so remember remember these steps so here I mentioned these steps. Here you can see we need to select this MySQL 5.7. After that, 
in default MySQL 5.7 select and then click on OK. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is update the MySQL repository. So how to update? So first of all, we need to update our system package using this command. Or you can use sudo apt update command. So it's done. Now clear the screen. And then after that, let's search MySQL 5.7 using this command. So let's search MySQL 5.7. So for that, let's run this command. And now you can say install none because right now we don't have any MySQL version installed, right? So that's why install none and candidate 8.0 version, right? And there in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Okay. Now, right now we don't have we, we don't have any installed version. Okay. So it's done. Now let's clear the screen. Now, after that, the third step is install MySQL 5.7 on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So for that, firstly, we need to update the system package using sudo apt update. Let's update. Okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen. And after that, here, the next step is we are going to install MySQL 5.7 client and MySQL 5.7 server with the below command. So let's install MySQL 5.7 client and MySQL 5.7 version using this command. So let's install. So let's copy the command and run in prompt. So here is, so here you can see here, um, they will ask version 5.7 for MySQL client was not found. Version 5.7 for MySQL server was not found. If you will have this error like this, then what to do? So the solution is here. So here I mentioned the command and the solution. So we need to run this command to install MySQL 5.7. So for that, firstly, I'm going to clear the screen. And let's enter the command. Okay, now let's up so update our system package using sudo apt update command. Okay, it's done. Now let's run the command to install 5.7 mysql 5.7 here here is the command okay now let's install so you can say do you want to continue so yes hit y press enter now you can see okay now please provide a strong password that will be set for root account for of your MySQL database and leave it blank to enable passwordless login using Unix socket based authentication. So enter your root password. So I'm going to enter my root password. Then okay. Then re-enter for confirmation. Then, okay. Okay. You can see how we are going to installing our MySQL 5.7 version on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen. Now, after that, so now after that, secure MySQL 5.7 installation on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So let's secure. So run the following commands. So here you can see 
I'm going to uh, run this command to secure my 5.7 installation. So secure my uh, MySQL server, enter your root password that we have set. Now, press Y for yes and any other key for no. So, yes, password length. So I'm going to enter one for medium, then estimate strain for password 25, change the password for root, no. I'm not going to change. Then remove anonymous user, yes. 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 It's done. You can see here, all done. It's done, right? Okay, let's clear the screen first. Now it's done. And you can see the output here. Okay. Now, okay, now the next step is check MySQL 5.7 version, right? That means check MySQL version. How to check? So the command is here. You can see MySQL hyphen root, sorry, hyphen u root hyphen p. So let's check. Let's check and log in our MySQL, right? So the command is here. Enter our password, root password. Okay, you can see the version server version 5.7. You can see our MySQL version 5.7. And here is our that we are going to we have successfully logged into our MySQL. You can see, right? Okay. Now here after each year, if you want to check the version, then here is a command like this. Select version you can see a 5.7 right okay after that the next step is if you want to create mysql user it's optional but if you want to create mysql user so how to create so the command is like this let's create user using below command create user then your username so here is my username devops seed after that identified by and here we need to set password and password must be strong that means combination of uh, symbols cap small numbers okay so that's the password so let's create new user using this command and hit enter you can see query okay that means we have successfully created user with the name DevOps set. Okay. Now, the next step is enable MySQL remote access. Okay. Here. By default, in MySQL database server, remote access is disabled for security reason. So, to enable remote connection for MySQL server, we have to change bind address in MySQL configuration. So, how to change? So, we need to open this file. So, file location is here. And we need to open this file. And in file, we need to change bind address. Right? So, how to change? So, let's open the file. So how to open? So, here we are going to use Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So, that's why here I am going to use this sudo nano command and then our file location. Okay. So, let's open a file. So here we need to exit or we need to log out of MySQL. So how to log out? So enter exit and you can see it's back. Okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen. After that, let's copy the command sudo nano and location of file. Sudo nano and file location. Okay. 
and here we need to change bind address so here is bind address you can see 172.0.0.1 we need to replace this ip address with 0.0.0.0 that means any ip address okay it's changed now save the file and exit how to save so it's simple we need to press control plus x then y for modify and enter it's done and as you know after changes any configuration file we need to restart our server so how to restart so the command is like this sudo systemctl restart and your server name so our server, server name is mysql sudo systemctl restart mysql Okay, it's done. Now let's check the status of our MySQL. How to check? So the command is like this, sudo systemctl status MySQL. And you can see it's active running. Okay. Now if you want to stop MySQL server, so how to stop? So the command is like this, sudo systemctl stop MySQL. Okay, it's done. Now let's check the status. Here you can see, so the status, inactive, dead. That, that means it stopped. Okay, now let's start the server. So how to start? So the command is like this, sudo systemctl start mysql. Now let's check the status. Now you can see, it's active running. Okay, it's done. So it's done, right? Okay, so we have successfully installed MySQL 5.7 on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So thank you for watching.